Breaking news tonight, Emmanuel the Emu is recovering from his brush with death. The TikTok star with 50 million followers contracted the deadly bird flu, which killed most of his feathered friends on Knuckle Bump Farm. Emmanuel, whose full name is Emmanuel Todd Lopez, because I guess he's Latino, survived the pathogen and avoided being killed by government officials. God. Ugh. I gotta go buy some eggs. The incredible edible egg. Edible egg. Eggs have usually been a cheap protein source. Two years ago, the price of eggs in U.S. cities was on average about a buck fifty. However, at the end of 2022, egg prices started rapidly rising, even in normal places that are not New York. And now, the average price of a dozen eggs is well over four dollars. The big reason for rising egg prices is bird flu, avian influenza, and in fact it's the worst bird flu outbreak that the U.S. has ever seen. The disease-causing power of this flu is summed up in its full name, highly pathogenic avian influenza. When this influenza infects a chicken, death is virtually guaranteed and it spreads super quickly. The main tool for stopping this flu in poultry is to kill the entire flock if even one bird gets sick. In the 2015 outbreak, they culled 50 million birds in the U.S., and at this point we're approaching 60 million birds killed with no end in sight. I'm not an economist, but fewer chickens means fewer eggs, which means the price is going to keep rising. In this video, I wanted to answer two main questions. First, where did this bird flu come from? And second, is it any threat to people? There are many different kinds of influenza viruses, but this bird flu is one of the ones that's most concerning, caused by what's known as the influenza A virus. The flu you got a few years back was likely also caused by a different type of influenza A virus. And another flavor of influenza A, the so-called Spanish flu, killed 50 million people back in 1918. At its heart, influenza A is a bird virus that occasionally ends up infecting mammals, including people, sometimes with disastrous results. You may have heard flu referred to as H1N1 or H7N9. Those H and N things refer to two proteins on the surface of the influenza virus. So a handy way to refer to the subtype of the virus is by which H and N proteins it has. The H protein impacts the virus's ability to infect cells and it has the most influence on the severity of the disease. The N protein impacts the virus's ability to bust out of cells and go infect others. These two proteins, H and N, are called antigens because they're the bits that the immune system recognizes and reacts to. The bird flu that's causing colds of chickens and rising egg prices is H5N1, so H subtype 5, N subtype 1. Like I said, at its heart, influenza A is a bird disease. Wild birds, particularly aquatic ones like ducks, geese, and seagulls, are reservoirs for flus, meaning flus like H5N1 circulate in these birds. Most birds can fly, and when wild birds hang out near domestic birds or poop near them, they can spread their flus to the domestic flocks. This is likely what happened on the farm of TikTok famous emu Emmanuel. Emmanuel's owner reported that her hobby farm in South Florida was infected by avian influenza, likely originating from wild Egyptian geese. The impact illustrates just how bad H5N1 is. They lost 99% of birds on the farm. All the chickens, all the ducks, all the geese, all the turkeys, all but one swan, and all but one emu. Emmanuel, the famous emu, did not die. He was one of only two birds on the farm that survived the bird flu. It's a little unclear why he wasn't culled on government orders given how pathogenic and contagious bird flu is. There's a good Twitter thread by someone that delves into that aspect of the story, so I'll link it in the notes below and I, I won't go into it here. But I will note that photos that the owner posted online showed her right up next to the emu, sans mask, breathing the same air. Every scientist worth her salt who knows anything about bird flu, including me, was aghast at these photos for two reasons. First, of the 868 people who have contracted H5M1 bird flu in the last two decades, about half have died. That's a super high fatality rate. That's essentially a, a coin flip. So, life advice, don't go near birds with the flu if you don't want to die. The second reason to react in horror to these photos was the potential that Emmanuel's owner could be infected, but then the flu would go on to spread from person to person, which, in the worst case scenario, could kill millions of people. To know why this threat exists, you have to know a little bit about how influenza evolves. Like all viruses, it mutates, accumulating random changes. And when those mutations happen in the H or N antigens, it's called antigenic drift. These mutations are usually minor changes, happening all the time, usually no big deal. 
However, influenza also has this nasty property of swapping genetic material with other flu viruses that are infecting the same bird or the same person or whatever. That is called antigenic shift when novel combinations of the H and N and other proteins are suddenly together. So if a highly pathogenic bird flu infects a cell that's already infected with a human flu when they recombine, you can have a novel virus that has the transmissibility of a human flu but the severity of a bird flu. And that's the foundation of a highly lethal global pandemic. It's probably how the so-called Spanish flu started in 1918, the so-called Asian flu started in 1956, the so-called Hong Kong flu started in 1968, the so-called Russian flu started in 1977, plus the 2009 swine flu, if you remember that one. If we ever have another global spread of influenza killing millions, it's probably going to start with antigenic shift in a mammalian host. So a, a pig on the same farm as chickens in Europe, a kid tending his flock of ducks in Asia, or a TikTok farmer getting too close to her pet emu in Florida. Luckily, H5N1 doesn't seem to spread that easily from birds to people, and there's been no reports of person-to-person -person transmission. H5N1 has, a bit terrifyingly, been recently found to have infected a bunch of mink on farms. That's particularly scary because the mink respiratory system is, is very similar to our own, us humans. In fact, ferrets, a close relative to mink, are often used as a model of flu viruses in lab studies. There's another bird flu, H7N9, which is not as deadly, but it's a good bit scarier because people have gotten it and given it to their family members. These bird flus are worrisome because of the sheer number of birds that they've infected worldwide, helped along by factory farming. The longer they circulate, the more species they'll be able to infect, and the more chances there are that the virus will mutate into a form that's transmissible and highly deadly to humans. If that happens, high egg prices will be the least of our worries. Thanks very much for watching. If you like sciencey videos, please subscribe, and while I'm requesting things, please stay away from sick birds and get your flu shot. It's a little weird that they specify in the egg jingle that the eggs are edible. It's suspicious, isn't it?